Hi, Jonah from Parts Built 3D here, and today I'm going to show you how to build a little filament dry box for storing your filament. Um, what you need is one of these little digital dehumidifiers or hydrometers, and you can get them on Amazon for just a couple dollars. They are pretty flimsy, but they do the job. You just have to be careful when installing them because if you squeeze them at all, they stop working. So we'll be careful when we install it. Um, this is a hefty protect box. You can pick them up at Walmart. They have a seal in the lid and they snap closed. And I like that it has a hinged lid. Uh, makes it easier to get in and out of. A lot of the ones that snap closed, you have to take the whole lid off. So, and then what you're gonna wanna do is decide where you wanna put your hydrometer and I've been putting them right here on my boxes. Uh, you can still stack them because the box has a little feed on the sides. Uh, it kind of depends on how you're going to store the box. If you're going to put them up on a shelf, you might want to put them here. Or if you're putting them sideways into a shelf so that you can just grab them and pull them off the shelf. And I think uh, right, right there might be a good spot for it. And I haven't really put any right there yet, so I'm not too sure how well it fit. But with this one, we're just gonna put it right here on the top, right in the middle. And this is a one and five eighths inch hole saw bit. And you just wanna run nice and slow when you're going into the plastic. Put it on there. I use my pipe reaming tool to kind of clean up the edges. You want it to fit in real, real easily where it does get damaged when you're putting in. You'd be surprised how little stress it takes to damage this thing. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm gonna try it in this video, is putting an O-ring on, not necessarily to seal it, but the hydrometer is a little loose when it's in there. It spins. Um, the, the walls of the bin are a little too thin for the clips to catch it. So I'm going to try this, see how it works. Put the O-ring on there. And if you look there, that's what happens if the hole is too tight. And if that happens, I'll pop it back out. Now I've pulled the hydrometer apart when that's happened and gotten one to start working again. And one was shot, so, but here when I pull it back out, it starts working again. So let's make the hole just a tad bigger. And nice and loose going in there. Put it in, and I kind of like what that O ring does. It kind of puts it in there where we don't have to squeeze the hydrometer so tight, and it still gives it a nice little grip. You know, it can move around in there a little bit, but it seems to be working. Um, so there we have it, just like that. And here's another one I did with a different type of hydrometer. This is uh, uh, the kind that runs off, I think, a spring in there. And it tends to read about 5% higher than the digital one. I don't know which one is accurate. I don't have a high precision hydrometer. But then what you do is you put your put your pack in there and then you can set your rolls of filament in. You pulled quite a few rolls. I like the smaller bins because you don't, you don't have to have as much to dehumidify and you can have a bunch of different types of filament in different bins and then when you go in to get one, you just have to open one small bin 
rather than with a big bin, you're opening it up, letting moisture into the whole bin, the whole thing has to dry out again. So I think this might be a, a good way to store the filament. I've been doing it for a while, it's working pretty well. Humidity gets down to about 18%. If you use a, a 200, I think it's a 200 gram silica gel pack. But that's it. And uh, hope it works for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.